Hello, our web developers. In the previous episode, Sheena showed how to generate wrap development objects and to check the data preview in the Fiori Element app. As a next step, in this episode, let us see how to integrate the ABAP development tools in Eclipse and SAP Build Code to create a SAP Fiori Element project. It is now possible to start the wizard to create a SAP Fiori project in SAP Build Code from the service binding of your RAP business object. Well, the advantage of this approach is the context information like the system details, the OData entity set is already pre populated in the wizard. It is available in SAP BTP ABAP environment as well as the SAP S4 HANA cloud system. It comes with the two flavors and that is what we will be seeing in the demo. For today's demo, I will be using some travel data and I already have the OData service. It is binded to OData v4 and this is the entity set. Let us check the preview. There are some travel entries and now let us go back to ADT and create a Fiori app. Below the preview button, you have create Fiori app. On clicking on it, you get two options to start the Fiori application generator. The first one is um, the quick Fiori application generator, wherein if you're fine with the ABAP CTS annotations and your preview looks good, then you can just use this option wherein it just creates a BSP application and an app descriptor. But in case you want to customize or you want to add further UI annotations, you need an entire Fiori project to work with, you can use the second options wherein again you have two options either you can do it in the SAP Business Application Studio or the VS Code to create an entire SAP Fiori project and the application. So I'll go with the first one and then see how uh, the app can be uh, downloaded and uh, redeployed. So let us create um, the Fiori application using the quick Fiori application generator. On click on OK, give the details of the package. I will give the package where the service binding is existing. You can see here the details of uh, the service binding like the entity set, the service name is already uh, populated. You can give the details of the project that is what should be the Fiori project uh, that uh, the generator has to create. Since it is for uh, the wizard, I will just give as wizard demo. And here you give the deployment settings. Give the details about the semantic object and the action, the title, this is the Fiori launchpad settings. So SO and action is a key value pair. So these are the two objects that the generator will be creating. Well, first one is the BSP application and the other one is uh, the launchpad app descriptor item. So click on next, choose the transport request and click on finish. So the, you get a message, the artifacts have been successfully generated and let's see the objects. And you can see here a new folder BSP uh, library with the BSP application is uh, created. So ZWizard demo is the application that has been deployed successfully. Additionally, you can also see the Launchpad app descriptor that is created. So which has, this has all the details about um, the Fiori UI for application as well as uh, Fiori Launchpad uh, settings that we had given for the generator. Now let us run this BSP application and see how it comes up. So the app that has been deployed, I just try to uh, launch the app from the URL and you can see here you get the uh, error as 403 forbidden. That is because you need to create an IAM app, assign the service and assign the IAM app to a business catalog in order to make the deployed app working. So for that, let us go back to ADT and create the IAM app. So I choose a package, new, other repository uh, object and then choose IAM app, give a name and a description, application type is an external app. It will have the suffix as underscore ext. Choose the transport request and then click on finish. So you can see here under services, you need to add the service. So the service type is odata v4, that is what I have binded. Click on browse and choose the service. Save it and then publish locally. The IAM app has been published. So the next step is you have to either, you can create a new business catalog and assign to it or else you can assign it to an existing business catalog. I'll create a new business catalog. Choose a transport request and click on finish. So for the new business catalog, it is again asking what should uh, be the package assignment. I'll choose a package. So here the business catalog IAM app assignment has been done. So the business catalog has been created and again the business catalog IAM app assignment has been done. So now let us also publish the business catalog. So the business catalog is published. Now let's go back to the URL and check if the error is gone. Just refresh. And you can see here 
this is the PSP application that I gave, wizard underscore demo, and the error is gone. We get the data that we had seen it in the application preview. So in this way, using Quick Fury application generator, you can uh, create the PSP application very quickly and use it. So what in case um, you want to add some more UI modifications, in that case, you need to have the entire Fury project. And that is where we will be using the second option to check the project in the Business Application Studio or else you can also check it in the Visual uh, Studio code. So I will go back to uh, the uh, service binding that is created and click on this Create Fury app. You can see here the first option has been disabled because we have already used uh, the Fury application generator and the PSP application has been generated. So if you want to further modify or download and redeploy, then you have to use the second option, which is external ID. And there is a one time activity that has to be the configuration has to be done for every system, which is either you can use uh, the bars or VS code. So let us see what is the configuration that is required. When you click on it under external ID configuration, you get two options. Here you give the details about the SAP Business Application Studio. That is the first option. I will run, just run through it. So this is the URL of uh, to launch the Business Application Studio. I am using SAP BTP ABAP environment and let me show you the URL. So I have just launched uh, the Business Application Studio. This is my um, BTP system and I have launched the Business Application Studio. This is a URL that you will be giving in under the URL. Dev space ID is the ID which you would have created. You would have, when in the bus, we'll be creating this uh, dev space ID, and that is what you will have to give. Since it has been stopped, I will start the dev space. While it is starting, let us check the other configurations. Now, destination name is the name assigned to the connection to access the ABAP system. So, if you are using SAP BTP ABAP environment, you find it under uh, destinations. I click on OK and then it connects to uh, the business application studio is launched. Since the PSP application was already deployed using um, Quick Fury application generator, the wizard understands there was already a BSP application available and it is trying to download the entire uh, deployed app for further modifications. So it will be the same process in the BS application studio as well as in the VS code. So once you have deployed uh, the BSP app using the first option that is the Quick Fury application generator, you cannot redeploy or delete it in the ADT. For any other further modifications, you need to come to a bus or VS code, download the entire Fury project and then continue with your work. So the context has already been uh, pre-populated here. The system is selected, the application, it has already chosen uh, the folder path, which is fine for me and click on finish. So it is installing some dependencies. That means you can see here the Fiori project has been downloaded and you can see it under projects. Under application info, you have some of the common tasks uh, uh, listed here. Let us see the preview application and you can choose the first option, start Fiori run. So the same VSP application opens up, click on go and you get uh, the data. So it is the same thing that we had seen in the preview. There is a list report and then uh, the object page opens up. So the preview is working fine. You can uh, do any of the UI changes and then again redeploy the app. So let us click on this deploy. And then it asks whether it needs to be deployed and give us. Um, I can see here the application name is given, package is given, but we have not given the in information about the transport request. And uh, so probably we'll first give the transport request details. We can add for deploy. These are all the details that we have already uh, given the input in the configuration. So if you just scroll down, you have an option. Uh, how do you want to enter the package? We have given the package details and um, enter the transport request. Let us give enter manually and we will give the transport request that we need. So under modifiable, you find uh, the list of the transport request, choose it. So you can find here uh, the details of the application that is a BSP application, the package, the transport request. This is the destination that we had chosen is all entered. So this is all good. We can give the deployment as yes. And interesting thing, yes, this it says like, yes, I found the application. So it is going to redeploy and you can 
you get deployment successful. This is the app is available in this uh, URL. You can click on it. So the BSP application opens up. So the second option is the same thing will be done in VS Code as well. So let us see the configurations in VS Code. So I'll go back to the service binding. So I'll click on Create Fiori app and on the Configure External ID, you need to choose Visual Studio Code. And there are certain prerequisites what needs to be done for the configuration in the Visual Studio Code. So first thing is, um, this is the help document which gives you the information about the VS Code extensions. You need to have SAP Fiori Tools extension pack. Let me go to the Visual Studio Code. And uh, under Fiori Tools, you have this uh, SAP Fiori Tools extension pack. You need to install it. Once you have installed, you get this uh, SAP Fiori here. And it has the details of the application model, which will be your the Fiori project, which you would have uh, either created here or downloaded. And then there is SAP system. You can manually add the system. Otherwise, when we are uh, doing it from the wizard, wizard also will give you an option whether we can choose a system or uh, add a system. Now, let us see how the wizard will uh, work. Uh, so in ADT, I've chosen this Visual Studio Code. You can apply and close, click on OK. So the wizard is asking whether you want to choose the save system or you want to create a new system. So I'll just choose as create new system. Uh, system type, I'll be since I'm using BTP ABAP environment, uh, given that authentication, I have the service key, give the system name, the URL, it will fetch the URL from the service key. I give the service key and click on test connection. A connection is made to the server and that is all fine. The URL is added here. And once um, the connection is made, it is trying to fetch the list of the OData V2 services and the V4 service. So it says like there are 90 V2 service and the 674 V4 service in that particular system. So you can save it and then continue with your work. Since I've already uh, created, I'll not be saving it, but um, I will run the wizard again from ADT and I will choose the saved system. So it will list down the list of all the saved system. I'll use the same H01 system. And again, the connection is made. And you can see the same view, uh, that is the download ADT deployed uh, will be opened here as well. Uh, one interesting thing is, since we have already downloaded in Business Application Studio, there is already a project which has been downloaded and um, you will not be able to download it again uh, in Visual Studio Code. But I just wanted to show you the option how it comes. Uh, from here on, it will be the same thing. Uh, you can, whatever you do in uh, Bus, you can continue the same thing in uh, VS Code as well. So you have the system selected, but under application, I will not be able to choose the BSP application, which we were able to see it earlier because that has already been downloaded in uh, Bus. So this is how an integration between the ABAP development tools in Eclipse and SAP build code is done. I will see you in the next tech bite. Thank you.